through the sticker books um, in not detail because that would take way too long. But I will show you what I picked up and tell you if it's a store for store specific item. Um, I did pick up some washi tape. Um, I'm not sure if I have. I did pick up more than this, but it's already been like just tossed in. Um, right now I need to organize my washi tape because it is a mess. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I can pull some of it out quickly here. Okay, so I will let's go over the washi tape real quick. I got a pack of 40 of these. These are um, let's see. So this is, I would say, the most common size washi. And um, it's just, I don't know the sizes. There's like four different sizes of washi. There's micro thin, there's thin, standard, and then there is um, a wide, wide, wide. There we go, wide. And I think there's even one wider than this. So there might be five different ones. But I picked up off of Amazon, and if you're interested, I can link this below. Um, there was 40 basic colors because I had trouble finding matches and times um, for things that I wanted. So I got 40 basic colors, and they're not all muted. There's there's a couple more. So as I said, I took them out of the package, and they were they're they're all loose in a bucket down here. Um, so that is one of the things I did do this year. Is I got those. I will tell you, I got, and this is why I shop the clear. I shop after after Christmas, so I got I think four of these in different. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Um, there's four different holiday packets, and they have two different sizes of washi in this one. There's four washies in this one. I think I paid like a dollar fifty. Oops, for all of these. You can see how cute these are. Um, let me see if I can find. So this and this. These are not necessarily the same packet because I did take a couple of them apart for the winter um, scene. So you can see you've got the little houses and some snowflakes and let it snow. Um, I don't know where the others are. They're in here. So this one was really pretty. This is part of the um, Let It Snow. This was like, it's a pink foil. Um, and it just was a, it's a packet of four. And I don't know, the other two are somewhere in the bin. <laughs> uh, these, um, these ones, I got these. I think most of these came from Hobby Lobby. And they had a... Oh, I don't know. It was a sale. It was either 40 or 70. I think it was 40, 40% 40 maybe. But I just picked up some new washi. Um, this one is a holiday one. So that's why some of these aren't open. I haven't used them. I haven't thought about using them. But with the floral theme this year, I thought it would be very cute. I love these. I can't wait to use these. But I wanted to get some complimentary. Uh, washi to go with some of the layouts that I want to do. This is very sweet. It's got a very a mushroom uh, theme going on there with some pretty floral and uh, fern like leaves there. Uh, this one is another uh, holiday one by the Paper Studio. Let me see these. These might have been from Michael's. I'm not sure, honestly. I've been to Michael's and Hobby Lobby a couple of times over the last couple of weeks um, because we traveled. So I went to ones that I wouldn't normally because <clears throat> I just want to see what else they had. Um, but again, more floral and butterflies because that seems to be the direction that um, i going this year. So I just wanted to do something a little different, something a little fun, make it pretty, uh, you know, and just kind of keep it going for the year. 
So these are in no particular order. Um, this is Recollections. It's a floral. This is the one that I did my January with, I believe. Um, 697 pieces I got. I think I paid full price for maybe two or three of the books that I got. Otherwise, they were uh, discounted. And some of them, like one, I can't remember which one it was, was a Happy Planner sticker book. And it was clearance price, but it wasn't over in the clearance. It wasn't pulled off the wall yet. It was like $2.19, which was like a happy surprise at the checkout. But you can see, um, see, so yeah, this was the book I used. Um, how sweet and pretty these are with a little bit of gold accents in there, gold foil, um, just to kind of brighten up, muted bright, you know, just kind of nothing too fancy and there's some washi in there. I love these boxes. Um, I don't normally like decorated boxes. I prefer to decorate them myself, but these are very pretty. I love the three dimensional look on these. So <clears throat> it just is very pretty and muted, muted floral book. Uh, this is Happy Blooms from the Happy Planner. So these are all going to be pretty, the recollections, the Agenda 51, I'm not sure, we'll find out when I get in there. The Agenda books are from Hobby Lobby, the recollections are from Michaels, and Happy Planner I kind of get from both. Um, but this one has, this is all floral stickers. So it, I'll turn it that way, it's easier. These are gorgeous, I love it. Um, just a bunch of different flowers to play with throughout the year. And I can't wait to see what I can do to put these together and what kind of spreads I can make. Um, these are really pretty. These are like, these say like fall or winter to me. Um, and these are, look at that. Like, I don't know if you can see the gold foil sparkles in there, but they are very pretty. So as I said, this year is a floral year. Um, I did pick up the Happy Planner Sage book, and oh, let's see if I can find it. There we go. The Cyanotype. I did pick these up. Um, figured I could use what I wanted from whatever spread. So they're basic, you know, Happy Planner staple books. They have their quotes and. I love now these have these long boxes. Um, I have longed to have these long boxes instead of having to make make my own or um, what do we do? Put multiple boxes down on the side or something. So that is going to be something that I might have to endeavor to do. But they just basic have the basic happy planner um, sidebar um, or bullet point ones and some small boxes regular boxes, quotes, things like that. And the, the cyanotype is similar, but <clears throat> has some really gorgeous deep blue um, box cutouts. So yeah, so like this one, so I'm get it there, I'll show you. I can take it all the way off, but so see, Oop. yeah, that one's going to be hard. So it, it, the white line actually cuts out here. So these circles actually cut out um, and offset a bit. Oops. So that's kind of interesting and new to me anyway. Um, so more muted but deep colors on this one. I do not see, and I haven't seen the um, full length boxes for the sidebar, but these have the long sidebar ones. I haven't seen the very, the full length ones in this one. Um, so I might end up making some with my Cricut just so that I have several colors to complement what I need. Um, this one is pretty self-explanatory. It's colorful shapes. I just wanted some shapes, different shapes that I could uh, use when needed. 
than that. So, um, okay. So this one is one I used, and this one. I can't remember what I. Oh, this one I used these on this current week. I didn't show you because I already started journaling in there <clears throat> with um, way too much to cover up. So this one is very uh, self-explanatory. Um, there's winter fun. It starts in the back as winter fun, Christmas, and it just goes to Thanksgiving and Halloween and all the holidays, back to school, the summer, um, 4th of July, spring and garden, Easter, just the whole, and then it has the new year and some winter up here. And this one is a recollections, <clears throat> goodness. Excuse me, my voice just doesn't want to hold up these days. <clears throat> so this one is very cute. And again, I use some of the ones out of the back here for the winter. Um, this is, I think Michael's brand. I don't know if recollections is Michael's brand or if it is a brand only carried by Michael's. I mean, not that we have a whole lot of choices out where I'm at. So <laughs> um, I know Michael's and I know Hobby Lobby and Joann's. I do not know um, if there's any other craft stores, but these are all like winter. These, these do not have the variety that the Happy Planner one had. There's, uh, well, this is fall and winter, right? Fall and winter. So this is only fall and winter. Um, so I just thought to get ahead of the game and get um, some sticker books for next year. Uh, this one is one that I picked up on clearance. Let me see if I can find. I picked up another one on clearance that was, here it is. Okay. So this one, it's $2.19. So I was, you know, you can't beat that, right? And it's a teacher's book. It's for teachers, but I homeschool and my daughter has her calendar for things. So some of them, like this is just a uh, holiday date for the year. And it's just got some really, some of the sayings, some beautiful, like cute little uh, rainbow and coordinating spots and some gold foil spots. Uh, the reschedule, these, these things, these can be used, like reschedule can be used for anything. Um, lesson plan. Mm -hmm. Hello. I homeschooled, so maybe I'll use that for when I lesson plan. Um, some reminders. These can be used in anything. So some of these my daughter can use for when she has a test or a quiz or a final, um, or if she wants to use that in her homeschool planner for assignments. Uh, these are cute. I really like these. These are adorable. These little um, note paper bullet points. Those are cute. But for $2.19, I thought, hmm, why not? Because if I, and I have teacher friends, so the stickers that I don't use, I will just pass on to them and they will use them in their uh, their planners for uh, school. This is another one that was on clearance for $2.19 and floral. So it's a springtime floral. Um, So it just let's see, book, uh, book fair or field trip, book fair, fun day, special project, family night, midterm. So this just says springtime floral, but I'm not sure that they aren't implementing some of the things that teachers or um, college kids like exam, final, quiz, email. Things like that. But look how pretty those are, and um, appointments and things. So another sheet of uh, holidays to add in. And so it looks like my teacher friends might be getting some. So these are really interesting. I like these. You can either use them like this, or I can see turning them and using them like this in. Um, at least not that one, but these three, I can see them being turned um, in one direction or the other. So it's very versatile for that one. That was very pretty. <clears throat> I've kind of leafed through some of these and others I have not been able to. So this 
this book and I think the last one, these are for the bigs, which is the full size, eight and a half by 11, but there's no rule saying that you can't use these. I overlap my lines all the time. Uh, so as long as I have most of my stuff, my scheduled stuff on each particular day where it should be, I'm good with that. These are very pretty. I love how these are outlined in um, floral decorations. So that is the springtime flora big. And then I'm telling you, I picked up a stack. <clears throat> so I'm ready to go for this year. Um, this one is colorful florals. And it's a stop and smell the flowers is what that one says on the front. This one, um, I see Happy Fire is implementing um, quite a bit of gold leaf, I think. or I think that's what you call it. These um, are ones you can color in. And my daughter is super excited because I, I told her, I said, go ahead, take them. So she's going to be coloring those and putting them in one of her spreads. Um, but they have the or gold foil, not gold leaf, gold foil. These are really pretty. I don't know if you can see. I hope you can. How those shine and sparkle and it just kind of that gives that iridescent look um, these are very cute and different I like the two-tone like the, the flip-flop the outlined and then colored in and outlined with a different one I know there's a term for that but I cannot think of it at the moment some more color um, some sayings and bloom grow happy i think this comes these i think these, these this is one sticker and then these are stickers so this this and this are each individual i think there's some more in different colors in here for those so they're very cute um, some gold ones and some more Let's see i really like these i can't wait to use them um these are very small print, but there's things like, I choose joy, I attract love, I'm content, I'm strong. These are like affirmations. I can meet goals, I have a dream, I'm getting stronger, I know I can. Um, so these are, uh, <clears throat> sorry, some affirmations, um, self-affirmations. And these are just really pretty. So I can see these being used with the other ones that um, just on the same spread. Oh, see, I knew. So there's a, a, a gold and like a silver in the back there. Um, different colors for, oops. But yeah, I really like some of the new sticker boxes that they come out with. I did not even see, this is gonna be one, this is a, I think they call it a pet. Um, I don't know. But basically it's on the clear sticker. So you would like either just have that there or write something in a particular spot and then set this off to the side on top of it because this I don't think you can write on those. But that's very cute and interesting. And then we have um, an Agenda 52. I have another, um, I think it was a couple of years ago, I have the um, Faith Planner or Faith Planner stickers from Happy Planner. And this one um, is from Agenda 52, which is Hobby Lobbies. And these were, these are $8.99. So their stickers, obviously, you know, Recollections and Agenda 52 are almost half the price, if not a little bit more than half the price of the Happy Planner. But these were also on sale, if, you know. <clears throat> so I figured I would pick up some new ones for this year um, to see what, how I'd want to use these um, noted. So I'm sometimes I use these in like the books I'm reading. So if I want to make a note of something or bring something to attention, I'll use the note ones and make a note off to the side um, in like my Bible study reading books, like the one we were doing for the women's group. Um, they are meant to be written in. They are meant to be made notes. There's study group questions um, either throughout or at the end kind of a thing so uh, these are very pretty very simple I like that there's a lot more of these boxes so that I can make notes and that and then there's a little bit more of the decor decorative uh, ones up front and some sayings 
and then reverses um, and that type of thing. So, so we have just a basic calendar as a recollection calendar one. Uh, my daughter needed some of, some more of the larger months. So we picked up, uh, I picked up this one. So this one's, this is different. I don't think I've seen this in any of the ones that I've caught in the past for my calendar books, my calendar dating books. Um, but there's like, I guess a grocery, a trash, either, um, that's for income, I guess, maybe. This is maybe laundry, travel, pets, school. Um, these are maybe doctor and dentist appointments, shopping, a celebration like cupcakes, cupcakes, birthdays, whatever. Um, meal planning, dinners, there's birthday, um, and then due date, due, you know, for bills and things. So it's kind of cute. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use those, but these are uh, days. Does it tell me what it, these are days, like days of the year, like the fun days, the um, summer solstice, and there's some like Independence Day and Valentine's Groundhog, but they throw in love your pet day, drink wine day, chocolate day, peanut butter day. Who doesn't love throwing in a fun day? Um, I can eat chocolate that day. So there's, <clears throat> these are clear back stickers and paper stickers, which obviously I've already used um, to throw on my appointments and stuff. So numbers, simple numbers. These come in multiple colors. So there's the silver and the gold and the black. And then we've got some silver uh, days of the weeks that it starts out with. Um, I think these, I think the recollections are about $9.99 a piece, um, regular price. Um, we're getting there. We have a couple more left to go. So Amazonia, um, I've already, I've kind of clipped these and I don't have them with me, but what they are in the back here, I clipped them off cause it wouldn't come off the back cover is the, um, alphabets, the letters. And my daughter is going to use those for her scrapbooking. So I just kind of took them from the books that they were in and put them all together for her so she could easily do that. Um, this is a Recollections Amazonia. So they're very floral and very animals. They've got some leopards, some monkeys, um, some very jungly type, um, those look like cranes some animals with the sayings. I thought this might be fun for a couple of spreads, some bugs. Um, they have them in different uh, color patterns, of course. Um, who does not need more checklists? These, I use a ton of those. It seems like I go through those a lot. Um, some animals. I just figured I'd flip through some of these sticker books if you were thinking about getting them. Um, that way you'd have an idea. Uh, Le Fleur. Le Fleur. So this one is um, a very elegant style, um, happy planner, more of a look to it um, with the, the vintage elegance, I guess you would call it. Um, they've got plenty of what I would call um, it's washy on the clear back um, sticker. So um, boxes, very vintage. Like this reminds me of like vintage um, style, the full length box again. Um, little calendar boxes. But you see how, how very uh, understated some of these are in the, the, just, they add just a hint of full, not a whole lot. There's muted colors, very rich in the, um, burgundy, just a little bit. Um, some sayings there. Um, but you see the, the, have the black, the, 
the sage, light sage green, the beige, the, the burgundy. It just reminds me of like um, Victorian time pat color pattern, the color palette. Um, when you think of that. So like, here's some sayings, keep simple. It's okay to go slow. Just do the next thing. Hello world. Love, lovely, lovely. Um, and find your bliss. So just some sayings there in different color tones and some gold and shopping lists and headers. Some full box. I call these full like box and a half. They're like a box and a half for the uh, vertical planners. So these are um, some more decorative, more. Um, let's see, these are cute. This is the busiest it gets, and this I think is the only sheet like that that I have found. Yeah, that's the only sheet that I know of in this one. That is very busy like that. So if you're looking for something that's more understated, um, this is the one, this might be one you would look for, is the Le Fleur. And then we have uh, Color Story 4. I think years ago, a couple years ago, I got Color Story, a Color Story, but I don't remember what in a number it was. Um, in fact, that one was one that I tore apart. I don't think I will ever tear my books apart again because if you ever get your stickers out of their categories, it is a pain to recategorize and refile them in like a box or a folder or something. So they're just, mine are just staying in their sticker books from now on. <laughs> um, <coughs> lesson learned. Um, but these are very bright and very colorful um, stickers. They just brighten up your, make it fun, I guess. So there's some more floral, um, but like some of the colors, like it just adds a little pop of color to your spread and your notes. And it just makes it fun, like cute little, uh, what I call button stickers. Um, these are very pretty. Don't wish for it, work for it. Find the beauty, be present. Um, but this seems, this seems to be um, something, these uh, stickers with the gold on them or the silver uh, seem to be something that Happy Planner is coming out with more and more. Um, some large quotes and some very simple headers with some uh, graph boxes. And um, I'm going to call this Southwestern the southwestern style or large quotes and so it's more of a fun add a pop of color um, kind of a sticker book um, so these are very they're all got the gold foil to it that seems to be a seasonal thing. Um, I missed that apparently in this one. So there's some seasonal Christmas and maybe some spring, summer. Um, it's like a garden that could be, you know, biking or gardening in the summer type of thing. Um, so it's very cute. So that is color story four. Um, some of these, they need to come up with different names. I know they're in the same uh, line, but some of them are very confusing if you can't remember what you got before. And this is the last one that I got. It's um, Pamplion. <clears throat> and it's, it's all uh, floral and butterfly, which is kind of what I was going for for this year. I think this is one of the first ones I picked up. Um, because I just fell in love with it. I love butterflies. My daughter and I've always loved butterflies. Um, so these I thought would be very nice to add um, to, like this might go well with the sage. So if you're looking for color coordination, let's see if I can find it, here you go. So see, the color palette there. 
So I might complement that right there. If you're looking for coordinating some of your sticker books together um, and you uh, are new to Happy Planner or whatever, um, or their stickers or planner stickers in general, um, see some of these, these would go with the cyanotype these might complement and contrast either the cyanotype or the sage sticker book. Um, some of them are just going to be very floral and butterfly-like because it's just that kind of a year. Um, I love these. I wish that sometimes there were like mini books, you know, maybe just thinner books and one on the same length, but maybe, maybe even put these on some washi tape that you can buy a whole roll of because sometimes you want more than what's in here. Um, and I don't want to buy another sticker book just for the washi tape. These are cute. Um, so let's see, I'll turn these. So this is the way I would turn most of these, like these ones here. So it's a little like note tab kind of a thing with these cute little butterflies on them. And some diamond pattern. Some butterfly boxes. These are very cute. I like that. As I said, I kind of just breezed through some of these books. I looked at the back of them and thought, oh, okay, I like that. And since they were on sale and I had um, planned for it, I just went ahead and bought them. Um, so I haven't really looked through all of these in great detail. Um, but I really, really like this one. Um, these little, these remind me of the, these shapes. And I think that's what they were going for is the little like cocoon shape. Um, make it work, spread joy. Um, you are magic, live in love, kind heart soul. So they're little, and you can even like, if you have a card you're giving to someone for their birthday or for just to pick me up um, to help them feel better or whatever, put a, find some of these that you might have and um, put some encouragement in there with a little bit of decoration. And I'm sure that they would appreciate it because who doesn't love being told, who doesn't appreciate being told that you are amazing. You, um, you got whatever you're going through, you got it. You, you don't have to do it by yourself or whatever. So it just depends on what it is. Just don't be afraid to use these for not planning, but for uh, cards and letters and um, just encouraging somebody. So that is the end of my sticker books for this year. Um, I don't generally buy them outside of this time. Um, I might buy some more, I might buy some washi, I'm not sure, but I'm uh, pretty sure I have enough this year. <laughs> so it's not to say I don't have any left over from the previous years, but you know, they, I've had them for several years. I don't think I bought any last year because of what everything that was going on with us. So um, again, that'll be in another video. So this is it for my setup for the year. If you like this content, like, subscribe, and share. If you um, want to see certain things on this channel, I will think about accommodating, see if it fits in my schedule and what I can do. Uh, just let me know down below and um, I will see you in the next video. Happy planning!